Well, we know baby animals are out and about right now, but wildlife experts say no touching, even if you think they're in distress. As News Channel 5's Kyle Horan shows us, people who often mean well are doing harm to these young animals. Have you seen baby deer like this, all curled up, looking helpless? Leave it alone. No, seriously, don't touch or feed wild animals. Wildlife experts say the babies are often there on purpose because the mothers left them there. They're out there sitting on their own. People don't know, you know, does this thing need help? Where's the mom? Uh, but the reality is if deer treated their babies like we treated ours, if they carried them everywhere, they would be highly predated upon. So what they do instead is they find what they think is a safe spot. They put them down and say, you know, well, say, I'll be back at dusk and dawn to feed you. Debbie Sykes of Nashville Wildlife Conservation Center took a walk with us in the woods. She says she often sees fawns in the woods here at Shelby Bottoms Greenway. We passed a pair of deer. You can barely see them in the woods off the path, but they're there even if you don't always see them. That's the point. You don't know if the fawn is alone or if the mother won't come around because you're there. Leave the deer alone, Sykes says. If you're ever worried about a fawn, just taking a picture, we can see if there's ticks on the eyes, if there's fly eggs, if they look weak, very similar to if your cat or dog looked weak, then we know it needs help. Here's an example of someone who did the right thing. After working on a car, the owner found out a nest of birds was in the tailpipe. He took these pictures and Sykes' group helped him make a makeshift nest. The mother eventually came back. Kyle Harant, News Channel 5. And it's important to make sure you contact an expert before trying to help any young animal. The TWRA has a county-by-county -county list of rehabilitation centers that can help. We'll be right back.